you know, tonight my hats all go off to, to um, Texas A&M Commerce. I think Coach Burton's done a great job in his first year. Um, obviously, this team has been through a lot, of, a ton of adversity for this team in the early preseason. Him and his staff have worked relentlessly. Um, they got some young women together, and these young ladies are playing hard. One of those questions that I was asked early in, in the pregame talk was uh, was specifically about this team. And I said, the one thing they're going to do is play hard, and that's what they did. They played the hard the whole time. They believed the whole time. And um, I think our staff understood that. I think it's difficult at times when you talk to your team about playing against non-Division One teams, how they're going to come out, and understanding the, the passion, the burn that they, that they have. Um, and I think they showed that tonight. So my hats go off to them to there. Um, we need to do a good job defensively. Uh, I'm still at a point right now where I don't think we still gave our best or even good effort. I think we did a decent enough effort. Where we end up really winning the game to me was going to be the free throw line, continuously being aggressive. I mean, that really probably put us ahead ultimately because tonight we didn't have the best shooting night um, and we struggled with being able to stop them in the paint. If you take a look at that, 38 points in the paint, it's not going to get it done. Um, we've got to do a better job. I think in the first, in the, at the beginning of the game, I think they were 18 at half, if I remember correctly. Um, so, you know, we didn't stop the bleeding there. And I think that's something we need to take a continuous look at is how we're going to defensively scheme to be able to, to slow down the bleeding in that particular area. But other areas for us defensively right now, I've been pretty excited about regarding our help defense with our team, our ability to be able to do a little bit better job rebounding. Um, I think we're getting better defensively. I just like to tighten it up in certain areas. And specifically tonight, it was those points in the paint. But again, you know, the team, this team, one thing I really enjoy about coaching this team is that they stay really calm and they find a way. And tonight, the finding a way came in multiple ways there towards the end of the game, but ultimately it's a free throw line if you look at the stat sheet, uh, which is an area right now I've, I've harped on. They're probably getting tired of it um, about the fact that we're last in conference in free throws. And so to finish strong with 77%, you know, I'm, I'm really excited about and, and, and really and truly that's probably where, where we won the game. Um, the backcourt, um, obviously, we're here right now. Uh, mm -hmm. Play had a, one of their better games together, distributing and scoring wise. What's clicked for them this year that's kind of made them the threat that they are? I think the thing that you'll find, you know, me going to my fourth season, you, your, your first initial recruiting, your recruiting class of freshmen are now juniors, so they've had an opportunity to be in the system. I think, so that's part of the equation. I think the second piece that we have in um, with Megan and Jacqueline, they're both transfers. Um, is that they've already had opportunity to play, play at a high level. Um, both of them, uh, to be honest, played at a high level. Jacqueline had it at the Division I. Megan had it at junior college and took her team to JUCO Nationals. And so I think that experience, you can't, you know, you, you can't just, you won't get that out of a freshman. So I think if you combine those two things, they better understand a system and how to play. They understand what it takes to win. And so they're able to gel a little bit faster maybe than, than you find with other teams. So that's one of the things that I look to. I think the second thing is I, I really do believe this team wants to win a championship. I really do believe this team is still trying to figure out wh who we are. Uh, I think we're getting closer every single game. Um, but all those things make it really exciting to battle with them. And, and it makes me really confident as a coach every game that we go in to be able to say, you know what, this is the plan. Let's follow through, take a look in their eyes. And then when they believe, they, they, they achieve. Um, were any adjustments made after um, to get the offense going after that slow start? Um, not in particular. I think it, it really, one of the things I think that Coach Burton did a good job of, he kept switching up on us, you know, man zone. I think that's one of the things he did. I think initially one of the, the, the things that he also did was he tried to make sure that he got Kalia Mays in, some, uh, in a tough situation. I think we're going to continue to see, find that where they would try to put her on the bench, and so it'll make her a little bit more tentative. Um, but we didn't change necessarily who we were, to be honest with you. Um, as he made adjustments with his play calling defensively, we might have made a couple play calls here and there, but we wanted to attack every single time in transition. That's really what we look to do. Uh, Aaron, in transition, it seems like you know your eyes get really big and you know how to just find people on the floor. Is that your eyes get big? What kind of happens? Uh, no, <laughs> what I'm happens just <laughs> when you see in transition? You know, just floor just opens up to you. What what goes through your mind when you're about to make a play like that? Um, I mean, growing up, I've always been a scorer, but I've also had the ability to be able to make a good pass. So we continue to work on it in practice to get the off, get the defensive rebound and push and push and push. And when I see my wings running wide with Megan and Aaron, Aaron runs the floor really well, going to the wing and cutting in. But today, Megan ran the floor really well, and I like to reward my wings when they run the floor well. Megan, on a date like today when you go five for six, is there, what's your thought process? Are you trying to not force anything when you know you're getting hot or? Yeah, just make sure um, every shot I'm taking, I'm stepping in, it's in a flow. Um, and of course, not forcing anything because it was 
a tight game, came down to the wire to win this game. So just being in being patient in the offense, knowing if it's a good shot or a bad shot, um, and you know if it's a good shot, then take it. But if it's a bad shot, you know look for anybody else to get open and make a play. I guess it's to both of you um, down the stretch. You know, Converse was making kind of a run. You guys kind of put an end to that really quick uh, with you and Waller with hitting a three. Um, you obviously set up the offense. What? What kind of what, what went through the went through your minds and it was like okay they're making a run we gotta shut this down uh, to finally just put the game to rest. Um, I think really it comes down to trust. Um, I know me and me and Ariel off the court were really close so just that trust that we have in each other and then within the whole team. Um, I don't think I mean for me coming from me I wasn't thinking wow we're gonna lose this game I was like we just need to come, uh, make a stop to this run and continue to fight and um, gain our lead and um, so I think just trust and then believing of course. Yeah. Uh, also, staying positive, when they did make a run, every time we huddled, we always said, okay, we need to get a stop and score and continue to get stops and, of course, execute on the offense. And I think one thing about this team, we stay really positive, whether we get down by 10, 20, 1, 2, we just, we just stay really positive, and I think that just helps the chemistry and us to get a, a, defense, a big defensive stop. Uh, coaches, um, have you heard or is there any word on people's ankle? I no, I haven't had a ch chance yet to talk to Darcy Downey, our athletic trainer. Um, I, I, my assumption is she's going to be okay. I'm not quite sure exactly when she's going to, you know, return, but uh, we're still going to travel with her. And, um, you know, you get to, to all before you guys come back home. What have you guys learned this season? It's going to be, you know, a confidence or uh, that's going to help you guys in preparation to go on this kind of long road trip before you guys head back here. Um, just our fight, knowing that, you know, if we're down or up, any, you know, any, any point differential, we're gonna fight as a team and like stay positive as well. Is there a certain mindset y'all gonna have going into the tournament coming up, or is it just anything you're gonna focus on particular point? Well, the teams that the the teams are 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 similar but yet different at the same time. It's kind of it's kind of hard to explain. So for us, it's going to come down to defense when you're on the road, period. Because one, we hit, you know, we're playing Bethune Cookman. They're a team that's from Florida. I mean, it's not home for them, but they play against Stetson every year. They played on that floor. They're very familiar with it. So to me, it's still playing on a road is not necessarily neutral um, when we go up against them. And then you turn around and play Stetson, who you know, you know, every other year it's between them and Florida Gulf Coast and the A Sun to go on to the NCAA tournament. I think those are going to be great looks for us as we continue to prepare for our own conference in the Sun Belt Conference. Those are two good teams that give us great looks, which is what we need. And, you know, my goal for us is to, you know, end up being 2-0 and o so we can go home, uh, much like we went into the, the finals break, being, you know, 1-0 and o against UTSA. That's the goal, is to be 2-0. and o. But on the front end, I do want them to enjoy and, and be students and have fun and, and go to Disney World and do some of that fun stuff. But then, you know, we're going to the next day hit it, we're going to practice, and we're going to get refocused.